G'day everyone, it's the Captain. Welcome back to the channel. A big thank you, of course, to each and every one of you that like and subscribe to these videos and you share them around the world with all of your buddies, all of your pals, and all of your mates. And as the voice of the voiceless, let me tell you about today's video. You see, it's common knowledge these days that sovereign citizens are dumber than Audible hiring Mike Tyson to read Fifty Shades of Grey, but it seems no matter how many of them taste the concrete and get arrested, their YouTube uni degree and drinking sausage argument still travels from one dill brain to another, and the cycle just keeps repeating itself. Fortunately though, there are some men and women of law enforcement that are no longer entertaining these future prison wallet warriors as much as they used to, and they are stamping out the silly billy stupid face stories pretty quick. Now let's have a look at two videos of where the cops decide to teach the sovereign citizens that their knowledge of the law is about the same level of knowledge that King Charles has for the fundamentals of forklift driving. In the first video, we get to see a deputy who has started a traffic stop on a waste of baby gravy for having expired tags. What will the county manny do when he comes face to face with a soft tart silly face? Let's have a look, shall we? Hey, I'm Debbie Jersey, Flag on Sheriff's Office, Receiver License, Registration Insurance. What's that? I'm Deputy Dorsey, Flight Guy Sheriff's Office, Receiver License, Registration and Insurance. Why am I being pulled over? Your tags expired. Okay. Can you just write me a ticket? And your license, Registration and Insurance, sir. I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Can you just write the ticket and I'll be on my way? No, I need your license, Registration and Insurance. I, I'm not driving. Failure to exhibit DL upon demand is criminal. Excuse me? Failure to exhibit DL upon demand is criminal. This is a crime? If you don't exhibit I'm your DL upon crime? demand. When stopped by a law enforcement officer on a traffic stop, you are detained. Me, then? Are you going to give me your license? I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not driving. Are you going to arrest me? Am Can I you step arrest? out of your vehicle for me? No. Am I under arrest? Charlie, 213, Flagler. Rainy. 1069, code 2, reference non-compliant operator. 54 for now. He's just recording me with his window up. It seems all you softards think law enforcement officers are fucking telepaths and can read your mind. You want him to write you a ticket, but you don't want to give him your identification, which is about as smart as anally inserting a snow globe. He can't just write the ticket out to Mr. Lockjaw the cock juggler and expect it to be paid. I mean, he probably could, and the fucking court will know exactly who he's talking about. But seeing as you sov fucks are multiplying like sperm shots to the eye, the cops have been asked to narrow down who they're riding up. Fucking hell, you actually talk like an artificial intelligence program that was fed Wallace and Gromit clips and then forced to write a Fast and Furious movie. I won't identify. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Your window's up. I can't hear you. Huh? I can't hear you. Huh? Sir, can you give me your license? Can you give me your license? Can you step out of the vehicle for me? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Can you step out of your vehicle for me? Huh? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. I cannot hear you. Can you at least crack your window? How can I write you a ticket without your license? I can barely hear you. Can you roll down your window for me? Fucking perfect way to deal with this underboob sweat stain on the bra of life, I say. He's in his shit box of sadness carrying on about the pros and cons of fucking a rubber chicken full of ground beef whilst listening to a Canning Crow CD, I might add. 
What's the deputies over there thinking about? After he gets to throat punch Lewis from Revenge of the Nerds here, he will get to go home for a nice meatloaf dinner, fuck his wife in the shower, and maybe watch Robocop. How fucking hard is it to see that your Soviet script is about as useful as asking Mel Gibson to recite the Torah and about as fucking smart as letting Cappy Griffin give you a blowjob under some bleachers? Just give him your ID and shut the fuck up! Can you roll down your window for me? Can you roll down your window for me, sir? I cannot hear you. Can you at least crack it? At least crack it so I can talk to you? Can you step out of the vehicle for me? Sir, can you step out of the vehicle for me? I cannot hear you. Can you roll down the window, open the door or something? I know it was a tad hard to hear dollar store Adam Savage from Mythbusters, but he was flapping his penis flytrap with all the normal pensioner prostate dribble that they come up with. Oh, I'm invoking all my rights. Oh, I'm not driving, I'm traveling. Oh, my mum cries on my birthday. Oh, even Jeffrey Epstein only liked me as a friend. You know, the basic fucktissery of bullshit that these dumb fucks spin. And why does he have a voice that I would expect to hear from a fucking cocktail waitress that works on an oil rig? And I'm betting he's only got this attitude, by the way, because he beat those bestiality charges on a technicality, that technicality being that the animal actually died before his court date. But we could hear the sirens of justice in the background, which means that he is about to play our favourite game of fuck around and find out. What are you doing touching my vehicle? What are you doing? I do not consent to any of this. Ow! I'm, I'm belted arm. in. I'm belted in. My hands are here. It's legal. It's not a vehicle. On the ground. What are you doing? Help! 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 Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! Help me! I'm not resisting! Help me! Help me! Help me! <laughs> he fucking went off like an autistic alarm clock, didn't he? <laughs> help me! Help me! Help me! Oh, how about no fucking James Cornwell stunt double? Fucking no! You started humping this horse and now you need to finish off on its back like a big boy. Oh, I fucking bet that you get erect whenever you hear a Stephen Hawking speech, don't ya? Don't ya, you dirty goat fucker. You look like a character on Sesame Street when Big Bird's trying to teach the kids how to be nice to a fucking burn victim. Help me! We're gonna stand you up, alright? This hurts! We're gonna stand this you up, hurts. Right? Ready? I do not consent to any of this! Alright, you're being placed under arrest, okay? What for? My glasses! I'll let you know in a second, alright? We're going back here to my car. My glasses! Left side. Left side. What is this? What is this? You have, you have to tell me what I've done! I'll tell you in a second, What have right? I done? What have I done? You feel to exhibit your deal upon demand? That is resisting, okay? I didn't resist anything! I didn't resist anything. I did not consent to any searches or seizures. Are your body cameras on? Yes, sir, they are. You're being placed under arrest. For what? And upon being For placed what? under arrest, you're subject to search. Where, 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 where are my rights? Why have you not read me my rights? I don't have to, sir. What? I'm not questioning about the crime. It's in what? the vehicle. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? All right. Um, you're being placed under arrest, okay? 
for resisting, okay? Resisting what? I lawfully stopped resisting a traffic what? stop. I asked you for your ID. You failed to exhibit. Resisting what? You then rolled what? up your window. Is okay? that a crime? Yes, it is. Is that a, what crime? Resisting. What crime? What All crime right? is that? Watch your leg. What law is broken? What law is broken? He fucking told you a few times, fuck face. Resisting. You even told him at the start of this encounter to arrest you, and now you want to act more surprised than a wife who lets her man go up her back door only for him to call her Kevin when he makes you paint the street with your tongue? Fucking hell, you're acting like Tilda Sweeten gave birth to you asexually. You're done. It's over. Enjoy that Bubba Penis sandwich back at the jail. Now let's check in on another waste of a burial plot as he proves to police that he too loves some jailhouse shower sex. Let's have a look. Is there a reason why you guys are pulling me over? Yeah, you were speeding. I wasn't speeding. What's, speeding. what's the emergency, sir? I'm not rolling the window, sir. Like, we're not going to play these games with you. Okay? I'm not going to play it. I just want to know what the emergency I'm is, sir. For speeding. I was not speeding. You have license on you? Here, I'll give you my information. Yeah. You want probation or parole? I'm going to give you my information, sir. Hold on. I'm not committing any crime. I just want to know why do you, why do you guys have your emergency lights on? What's the emergency? I just told you you're being you're being stopped because you were speeding. Are you recording this, please? Yes, we are recording. You are recording. recording. License and registration, please. Here's your here's your information, sir. I got you right here. Hey, sir, I don't like you reaching around. I'm just I'm showing. I'm ask you to step out of the vehicle. Here, I'm not. I don't want to step out of the vehicle because no, I feel like I'm under the arrest. I'm gonna have you step out of the vehicle. I don't, Listen, I'm, either step out of the vehicle. I'm gonna break the glass. I'm can you up. please have your watch commander show no, up? Step out of the vehicle. I would like to have your watch commander show up, please, sir. Don't break my window. I'm asking. Please, you right sir, now, don't break my window. Vehicle. I'm step recording out. this for my own safety. I'm I'm under the arrest. Please do not break my window. I didn't commit a crime. Step out of the vehicle, sir. I did not commit a crime. It is obvious Officer No Play didn't come here to finger ferrets. He has come here to show Jizz Jacuzzi Jeff exactly how the local cuff commandos don't give a fuck. You lost the cop's attention like he was your stepdad the second that you started pulling the whole and what's your emergency bullshit and then you started collecting paperwork to give him like a spastic seagull which was when that he gave you a lawful command to get out of the car but seeing as you follow the law the same way Jojo Sinwa swallows semen you thought to yourself well I don't need to do this and like so many chode commanders before you you dead set are about to play our favourite game of fuck around and find out. I will step out. Under the rest, please. I'll step out under okay. the rest. Please step out. I will, please. Please do not hurt me. I'm fearful for my life, for my safety right now. It's scary. I'm giving you three seconds, sir. If you don't step out of the vehicle now, I'm going to break the glass and you're going to get pulled out. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing it right now. Sir, one. I'm allowed to pull it. One. Sir. Please, I'm not resisting. Can you record? Somebody record! Somebody record Somebody record Somebody record Somebody record this! Somebody record I am. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not resisting. I'm not resisting. I can fly, sir. My elbow's broken. I, my elbow's I'm broken. Riding, dude. I can cool. fly, sir. Relaxed, I relax. Thank I can fly. I'm in pain. I'm in pain. You're hurting me. You're, okay. You're hurting me. 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 You're he seems to have a pretty nasty case of incarceritis as well, and they even took him to a hospital. Have a fucking look at him. This is the face of a man that has been caught sniffing his mum's vibrator before. A man that knows in a few hours he is going to be the jail submarine full of Captain Bubba and the incarcerated seaman. A man that only Diddy could lube up. So both of these dumb fuck virus zombies were done for resisting and the failure to identify and they got to spend some time in jail together jerking each other's gherkins like fucking blind McDonald's workers. So high fives all round there, I say. 
on that note, it does bring us to the end of another great video. I hope you've had a bit of fun. I hope you've had a bit of a laugh. I hope you've clicked that like and subscribe button, taken your shirt, I've got naked if you want. Now that you've done all that, now you can go run a naked shirtless down the street, find the nearest antique shop, kick open the doors of the antique shop and say, listen here, you dirty fingered fucks, why don't you watch this video with me? They'll be like, what's this all about? And you said, you should just watch the video. And then they said, well, that's a bloody good idea. I'll fucking watch it with you because honestly, we're in an antique shop and there's not fuck all to see here that I haven't seen before. So let's have a look at this video mate and then they're gonna watch the video with you they'll be like fucking hell this was the greatest video ever made and you'll be like fucking oath you should see the rest of the videos on the channel you think this one's impressive this is just a baby video compared to some of the videos that are on the channel and they'll be like well how do I get involved in the channel and you'll be like well you need to fucking like and subscribe to the channel then you need to take your shirt off you possibly should get naked as well then you can go running down the street find a local fucking whatever and kick open the doors and say listen here whatever's and then all of a sudden there's gonna be a fucking big orgy of whatever's that you started mate so you should be proud of yourself just like how this antique store fucking orgy is about to get underway which I started so I'm pretty fucking proud of myself and then who knows mate you might just get some money but I better get going I'm expecting a fucking phone call from Terry again fucking <laughs> Terry he rings me today and he says to me well I have fucking something to tell you I said, hit me with it, Terry, what's going on, my friend? How are things going in the world of Terry? And he says, well, they're not fucking good at all. I said, oh, no, mate, what's going on? He goes, well, I had a fucking toothache. I said, oh, shit, toothaches, they are the worst pain. What did you do for your toothache? And he goes, well, I did what fucking most people do, and I went and fucking saw a dentist. I said, well, that makes a lot of sense, seeing a dentist for tooth pain. How did you go at the dentist? And he goes, well, he was fucking stupid. I said, he was stupid? Why was he fucking stupid? And he goes, well, he said to me, he said, Terry, you have fucking yellow teeth. I'm like, yeah, well, that's not making him stupid. Why, what makes you say he's stupid? Because he said that you had yellow teeth. And he goes, well, he fucking said to me, he said, Terry, you've got yellow teeth. Do you smoke or drink coffee? I'm like, yeah, what's wrong with that? It's a pretty standard question. Goes, well, I fucking said to him, and I'm going to fucking say it to you, Captain. You can't fucking smoke coffee. Oh, fucking hell, Terry. All right. All right. <laughs>